Aerith, you sure about this? If you've got any better ideas... Not really. So that's the way it is. Hmm. Tifa's been invited into the Don's estate. Huh? But to earn such a privilege, you must first win the approval of one of the trio. Right? Meaning, I now know what I must do to save her. Stay strong, Tifa! Help is on the way! Johnny's coming, baby! <laughs> Not the sharpest tool in the shed, is he? Nope. What were you, you two. Yes, you. Do you have a place to stay this enchanted evening? We have the perfect room for a sweet-looking couple like you. How much? Cloud! <laughs> Just give me a holler when you change your mind. Let See me handle prayer. this. You wait out here, okay? And why would I do that? No, I'm coming with. I'm not really sure that... You're a man of many talents, but talking isn't one of them. Good evening. Oh. Hey, uh. Welcome to the heart and soul of Wall Market, the Honey Bee Inn. Is there a honey boy or girl whose company you desire? Uh, we're here to see Andrea Rodea. Ah, the shining star of the Honey Bee Inn. Now, are you the one who made the appointment, sir? Can I have your name? Oh. We don't have an appointment. I see. I'm terribly sorry, sir. An appointment is required, and the earliest available slot is three years from now. Three years?! All we want is five minutes. He can spare that. I need his help for the Corneo audition. Yes, well, regardless of the circumstances, you cannot meet him without an appointment. Is there really no other way? It is rare. But Mr. Rodea does occasionally extend invitations to individuals who catch his eye. Otherwise, I'm sorry, but there really is nothing that can be done. I guess that's that then. Oh well, let's try someone else. Not you two again. Told you once, I'll tell you a thousand times. Got nothing for you. Now scram! Wait, here's out. You're one of the trio, right? I want you to get me into the audition. Huh? Pretty, please? Why not? Really? Sure. Next time an audition comes around, I'll put your name in the hat. Next time we'll be too late. Can't you get me into this one? You want in now? No can do, sweetheart. Already recommended Tifa, and she's got this in the bag. How can you be so sure Corneo will pick Tifa? You never know, he might pick me. Damn, you really do want in, don't you? Sure do. Then how's about we play for it? Call it, Missy. Heads or tails? Yes, right. I'll grant you your wish. <sighs> yes, wrong, and you'll leave me in peace. Heads. Tails, you lose. Uh. Hey, don't look so glum. You're a pretty enough gal. Just not quite Corneo's cup of tea. But if only the Don will do, try convincing one of the other two. That's why it's a trio, not just the meal. Now skedaddle. Wait. Mind if I see that coin of yours? <sighs> Trick coin. I had a hunch. That's cheating! 
And that's the wall market way. Lesson learned. Still cheating. Welcome, welcome. Just the two of you? Step right up. Now then, what manner of massage do you desire? Say what? Is this your first time in our establishment? Mm -hmm. We are a hand massage parlor. An excess of fatigue and tension can make even the simplest task a terrible strain. It is our pleasure to relieve our patrons of that tension. <laughs> and what better way to seek relief than through the skilled ministrations of a professional? So now that we understand each other, what manner of massage do you desire? We're not customers. Then you are... Hoping you can help us get an invite to an audition with oh, Don Cook. Oh, Say another word and I'll shove this fan right down your throat. Oh. Uh. Uh, this is the last thing I need. You're young and stupid, and I suppose that means you think I'll let you off easy. So, you want what? A favor? Well, here's the thing. This is a massage parlor, a respectable establishment. But if you don't require our services... Then tell me! Is there any reason I shouldn't have you dragged outside and shot for wasting my valuable time? Well... Hmm... Name? Cloud Strife. Hand. Huh? Give it to me! The strong, firm hands of a fighter. Yet they possess a certain elegance and grace. Okay, Cloud. Let's see what you're made of. After that, we'll talk. So, which course will it be? Hey, you don't have enough for that. Why don't you choose a course you can actually afford? <laughs> then make your way to the room in the back and wait. Cloud? Well then, it should go without saying that you get what you pay for. All four fingers at once, quick and to the point. <clears throat> Little rough. Hmm? They can stop at any time if it's too much to handle. <laughs> Try flexing the muscles. You'll feel the difference. Loose and limber. Am I right? Actually, yeah. You're one of the trio, right? I want to get into Corneo's next audition. Then why in the world would you want to do that? Hmm? Okay. Really? But you cannot go dress like that. Huh? I could never send Corneo a candidate wearing such a plain-looking getup. Doing so would call my position as one of the trio into question. Is something wrong with my outfit? It's comfortable, isn't it? Cloud the fashion critic. Look, just take it outside the parlor, would you? Sorry, we'll stop. So, what should I do about the outfit? <laughs> you just leave that to me. I'll put you in a dress so fabulous, you'll look like a million gill. So long as you can afford it. How much? What I said. But don't worry. It's obvious you can't afford a dress with that kind of price tag. So listen, I have an idea. Uh. There's an underground coliseum in this town. Up for a fight, Cloud? Good. Because I'm getting you into that arena. If you win the tournament, 
I'll transform Aerith into a drop-dead gorgeous beauty. Is there any prize money? <laughs> yes, for the person who got you in. So, what do you say? All right. That's what I like to hear. You'll need this. They're already letting fighters inside. You should hurry. Run along. This. You're here to compete? <laughs> I hope you know you're cutting it really close. So, the two of you are a team? Team? No, it's just me. Yes, the two of us are a team. I need to get into that audition, but I won't let anyone else fight my battles for me. That includes you, mister. All right, team it is. Head to the waiting area down below. So, how deep does this thing go, you think? I wonder how many people are fighting. Hey, you're not nervous, are you? Nope. Really? You're even more quiet than usual. Just trying to focus, like you should. What happened to your face? I just needed a little scratch, you know? So I signed up for the preliminaries and, well, I hope you guys realize what you're getting into. I don't want to scare you, but if you can make a run for it, you should. Cloud and Aerith, your match will begin shortly. Please make your way to the gate. We're in way too deep to back out now. It's a gift from Don Corneo. Drink it, and they say you'll be raring to go for hours on end. If I had, maybe things would have gone differently for me. Maybe you should. It's yours if you want. How is it? It's thick. But you like it so much you couldn't possibly share, right? It's a gift from Don Corneo. Drink it, and they say you'll be raring to go for hours on end. If I had, maybe things would have gone differently for me. Maybe you should. It's yours if you want. How is it? It's thick. But you like it so much you couldn't possibly share, right? You two ready? Try not to get yourselves killed.
dummy bullshit. What's up with the pole? Gonna do a little dance for us, baby girl? Okay, now I'm mad. Zero! What if Walmart gets owned? A renowned master of beasts! Will his pets make a meal of our two challengers before our very eyes? They've already been given their appetizers! Their hunger for flesh and fear is unquenchable! The demon dogs of hell! The Sanguine Stalkers! You brought animals? First timers, huh? There's no rule that says you gotta fight man to man. We're in for a treat, ladies and gentlemen. Who will prevail in this brutal contest between man and beast? This could be over in an instant, so don't even blink! Without further ado, the fourth match of the first round begins now! That kid's really something. Well, of course he is. I did give him a massage, you know. His palm told quite the tale. He's cheated death more than a few times. <laughs> so have half the people in this town. Anyway, we're both still alive. Call it. <sighs> there you go again. One of these days, your luck is going to run out. When I fall from grace, maybe I'll land in your parlor once more. <clears throat> that is one mistake I will never repeat. <laughs> You gotta admit, Andy, the way he moves is totally amazing! Andy! <sighs> Next up, the big finale. Yeah. I thought you'd be happier. Just thinking about what we might face next. But you know, we've made it this far. I'm sure we can handle anything they throw at us. Wrong! You guys are pretty good. It's the final match. You good to go? I've got a lot of money riding on you two. Win it for me. Ladies and gentlemen, our time together is almost over. Tonight's thrilling Corneo Cup, filled with unprecedented upsets and drama, has only one match to go. <laughs> we know. We're just as disappointed as you are. But ladies and gentlemen, all good things must come to an end. So let's celebrate by getting so damn loud, they'll hear us up on the plane! Yeah! Come on! Once more, the sweethearts who surprise us with upset after spectacular upset. The power couple with the boundless love for bloodshed. The champions of Madame M, Cloud, and Eren! Yeah! Come on now! Come on! You can do better than that! And now, five time winners of the Corneo Cup! Murder machines with countless kills to their name! Along with a handful of maimings! The deadly duo that takes up the trash with a mob of vengeance! The electric executioners! Chocobo Sam's champions! Cutty and Sweeping! Come on now! Robots? More like Shinra armor. More like cheating! <laughs> Who will walk away with the one million bill prize? Get ready for a fight guaranteed to go down in history! The final match of the Corneo Cup begins now! My condolences. Oh, you're taking this rather well. I was looking forward to a little temper tantrum. You bet it all on a toss. Sometimes you get burned by Lady Luck. Every coin has two sides. You're right, of course. 
Even if they are both the same. Later. And now, I believe I have a prize to collect. Sorry. The madam will have to wait. The Don's demanding that we tack on one more match, it seems. What? If they win out, then you get paid in full. Now hold on just a goddamn minute! His call, not mine. <laughs> now that that's over, we can go save Tifa. So we'll head back to Madame M's, get you changed, and then it's off to Corneo's. Right. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but you still have one fight left. What do you mean? The crowd loved your show a little too much. People are placing hefty bets, much heftier than you can possibly imagine. Corneo's going to milk this for as much as he can. Meaning what? You face and defeat Corneo's fighter of choice, and only then will you be declared winners of the tournament. Hey, that wasn't the deal! Don't you think I know that?! Ah! You greedy bastard! Scum-sucking piece of shit fester you asshole! Uh... <sighs> but that's the way it is. Corneo's the one who makes the rules around here. But if you win this match, Corneo will have to accept your victory. And the crowd will make sure he does. So this is the last one? <laughs> I sure hope so. Watching you guys fight gave me goosebumps! Hope your next match is even better than the last! Ready to kick ass? It's not even about the money anymore, man. I just want you guys to win it all! Show them what you got! Tonight's Corneo Cup has been a spectacle like no other. And we shared your disappointment, ladies and gentlemen, when we told you that it was coming to an end. But nobody felt it more keenly than one Don Corneo, who has decided that a vote is matter than order! Participating in this match will be this evening's leading lights, the dynamic duo that has crushed all competition thus far, Klaus and Eric! Buried in the bowels of the new sea. An unspeakable horror, long in prison, set free tonight for your entertainment! The secret star of Don Cuneo's stellar stable! Enter the Hell House! Shit! 
champions, Clue and Aaron! That boy. <laughs> Awfully rare, you showing an interest in someone. What will you do? <laughs> there you are. I've been looking for you two. So, Madam M wanted me to give you a message. She says you guys did pretty damn good, and that you should swing by her shop when you're done here. Got it? I was also hoping you might be interested in a few more matches here at the Coliseum. Big events like the Corneo Cup are pretty sporadic, but there's always action if you want to get a piece. You're here. Good. I have everything I need to get started. Just one thing before we do. You're the Cloud, right? Cloud the Merc. I'm told you did a wonderful job helping the people of Sector 5. <laughs> You have a very impressive work ethic. It's like they say, good things come to those who work. What goes around comes around, and in ways that might surprise you. <laughs> I'm gonna put Aerith in the most gorgeous dress you've ever seen. <laughs> It'll be a real jaw dropper. All right, now that that's out of the way, once you change, you won't be able to leave town. Are you sure you're ready? All right then, let's get started. Beauty takes a lot of work and preparation, far more than you'd know. In the meantime, let me see, let me think. There ought to be things you can only do without your friend. Now's your chance to get out and have some fun. <laughs> I can tell you're already beginning to feel at home here. Though being so new to it, I assumed you still wouldn't know how to enjoy yourself properly. <laughs> So I went and had a chat with Sam. He said he'd be happy to help you out. Hey, no one asked you to do that. But there's so much you don't know. This is the perfect opportunity for you to learn the ways of the world and man the hell up. And that's enough of that. Aerith, come with me. Oh boy, I can't wait to see the dress. The dress is part of it, sure. But we'll also need to do something about that plain Jane makeup and hairdo. This is gonna take some work. Ouch! Well, I'll see you later, Cloud. Peek, and I'll poke out your eyes. Howdy. Madam M said you'd be swinging by. Let me see if I've got this straight. You ditched your lady friend and fellow champion to have a boy's night out in Wall Market? Ah. Uh. Kidding. If I know the madam, and I do, this was all her idea. I can see why. There's no denying you're skilled with a sword, but when it comes to damn near anything else, I can't help but have my doubts. Ain't nothing wrong with that, but then there's nothing wrong with expanding your horizons neither, seeking new experiences. Knowing the ways of this here world will help you to better protect her while you're in it. Reckon I got a few solid gigs for you. What do you say? You game? Huh. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> That's the spirit. You having yourself a grand time tonight, Mr. Boy. Hey, old dude! Huh? Son, is that you? Did you always look so... moronic? What? Well, right back at you. Yeah, whatever. We're here to take you back to the store. I'm not going back! Not ever! My life is ruined! It's over! Kill me now! Come on, there's no need to talk like that, old dude. I'll help you out with whatever you need. Really? Oh, thank you, son. See, I made this bet with the Materia Merchant. A sure thing, but then I lost. And so I had no choice but to steal my heart and surrender my precious inspiration. Your precious inspir... who with the what now? Inspiration! <laughs> Without it, there's simply no point in me ever going back to the store. Got it. I mean, I don't got it, but 
I just need to get your inspiration back, right? Whatever the hell that is. Leave it to me, old dude. Uh, hey, aren't you gonna go with your friend? Wow, thanks for coming. And welcome to our humble training hall. Jules, head trainer. If you've got some time to spare, how about a little bit of fun? Wanna try taking on one of our guys? Huh, you're not serious, are you? Look at him! He's a scrawny little thing. I could snap him like a twig. Now, now. I wouldn't judge this one by his muscle mass. What do you say, Cloud? If you want to give it a go, just let me know. So, you up for a round? Ha! You're taking me on? You look like a dried up old terpsichord left out in the sun. Got no idea what you're getting into, little man. All right, enough talk. We'll settle this the tried and true traditional way. A squat off. Now, let's all see what you've got. Huh? And what do you two want? Uh, uh, I'm here for the precious inspiration you took from the old dude. Inspiration? Oh, that thing. But I didn't take it. I won it fair and square. It's mine by rights now. Well, that's true. But I tell you what. I'll consider giving it back in exchange for... a favor. Uh, what you need? Something only... real men can deliver. Uh. I need you to go and get me something from the vending machine at the end. You know what. You know. No, I don't think I... Wait, the sauce. The sauce? Stop saying the sauce. Anyway, it... that's the one. It looks like a regular old vending machine, right? But wait. <laughs> you ready for this? All right. This particular model has secret buttons. Where? Well... I can't tell you, it's a secret. You just need to tap into your knowledge and expertise, like grab it and whip it out. And then you'll be able to see everything. I don't need to whip it out. I've done this before. Watch this. Whoa, look at you, bro. Oh, it's you two. Time, bro. The sauce. Could it be? Oh, it is. The sauce. The sauce. Whoa. Oh, never thought I'd live to see the day. It's just sauce. No big deal. Don't sell yourself short. This is only given to one who is truly a man among men. Huh. I know. Damn, bro! That's why you're such an awesome dude! All right. Hate to break it to you, but that thing you were looking for? Not here. It's long, long gone. You shitting me? Nope. Sorry. As I recall, the guy who runs the restaurant should have it. Ugh! Well, I guess we know where we're headed next. Come on, bro! Well, that's that. Time to polish the old orbs. Give them a spit shine so they positively sparkle. Hey, if you're done here, then get going already. Restaurant up next. Feel free to take any open seats. Sorry, we're not here to eat. The Materia guy gave you something, yeah? We want it. Materia guy? Oh, you hear about that? I'm surprised. Didn't take you for the type. Let me ask you something. Either of you know anything about cooking? Nope, never cooked once. That's too bad. For some reason, my food doesn't taste nearly as good as it used to. I was hoping one of you two might be able to help me figure it out. I've narrowed it down to the fridge, the stove, or the power supply. But I'm not sure what's to blame. Man, I seriously have no idea what it could be. This sucks.
You know, I think the problem could be faulty wiring. Look around you. This place is falling apart. Hold on. You know a thing or two about electrical wiring? Great. That's the serious business. If you're right about this, my beloved restaurant could be a ticking time bomb waiting to explode. Let me take a closer look. On closer inspection, it honestly looks fine to me. I'm not seeing anything that might be problematic. Here! Man, this looks great! What is it with today? People are dropping like flies. Besides this dumbass? Ah, loads. Of I got enough outstanding orders to fill a book. I was about to leave and make some delivery. I'm gonna hurl. I can't very well leave him alone now, can I? Hey, you're not doing much. Maybe you can deliver that medicine for me. You're what? Military or something, right? Then you must know a thing or two about dealing with the sick and injured. You're a lifesaver. Literally. So, let me see. What needs delivery? Here. I need you to deliver both of these. You'll probably find this guy sprawled out on the ground somewhere, but make sure you check his symptoms before giving him meds. 